in process. And again, you see these are white. Now, th these bits, you can see some bits of normal blood clot in there. That's what you'd expect. But all these things are new. These have not seen before 2020. In 2020, they were seen in very small amounts. In 2021, 2022, 2023, seen in large amounts. Um, these are the white clots in a tube, and we'll see some more live on the video that we look at with Major Haviland uh, in the next in the next uh, video. So there's some that have been collected. Here's some just so you see the two ideas of what's going on in the video. Let's just look at some more pictures first of all. Here's another example, and again we see that it kind of uh, it breaks down. It's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a junction coming from inside a, a blood vessel six inches there which is about 15 16 centimeters i guess and these white clots simply aren't in the pathology textbooks this is a new disease and quite incredible quite incredible um now let's move on to look at some more pictures or pictures first of all here's another example and again for any rollouts of things, um, there was very few cases, but of course we did have a pandemic then uh, with uh, SARS coronavirus from arteries in embalming and they're coming out from uh, veins in embalming as well. Now, the data I'm going to present uh, from, from Mr. Uh, Thomas uh, Haviland, Major Haviland, who's uh, examined this, that'll be in the next video. But what he found was in 2023, embalmers reported that 20% of corpses were showing these things. 20% a fifth. In 2022, it had been 30%. In 2021, there'd been some, quite a lot, but we don't have a figure on that. In 2020, um, before any rollouts of things, um, there was very few cases, but of course we did have a pandemic then um, with uh, SARS coronavirus too. So in a few in 2020, lots in 2021, lots in 2022, still a lot in 2023, involved in 20% of, potentially in 20% of deaths. Uh, this is just huge. Before 2020, the embalmers weren't seeing any. So 2019, as far back as you want to go, they were seeing none, and then they're getting these things. Well, riddle me this. That is interesting. I don't know if I can get Dr. Campbell to hear these words that I'm speaking or anyone that I tag in the video, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Russell Brand, Neil Oliver. But immediately, immediately, well, actually, yeah, immediately as soon as I watch this video now, but I've only just watched this video now. I watched the newest video that he did actually with the um not the coroner the um undertaker guy you know the guy who actually was you know um dealing with the bodies well i know coroners deal with bodies but they're more to do with the legal side of it um i watched the video where he'd actually got the gentleman on who was saying that he'd tried to report it to the police and so forth and they didn't want anything to do with it now i've just watched this video now, as soon as Dr. Campbell went into the details of what these things are made of, we just heard him talk about what they're made of. And then the last um, item that he said, he started describing what they're made of. And then the final item that he say, said was a protein. They're made of this protein and they've never been seen before. Now, as soon as he said that, I had this like eureka moment, this like, doo, just this look, absolute like, like, just like a momentous insight. And you know what? Google, 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 Google. Because I've seen a video, I don't know, I don't think Dr. Campbell has seen the video that I'm thinking of, and I'll try and find it now. I was thinking I should edit the bit that he speaks and then edit it into that video after. That would be a pretty cool video to make. But I'll just tell you now, 
So there's a video about um, Google because Google have got a lot of different fingers and a lot of different pots. Um, it's not just computers and online. They've got these departments and these different um, divisions and one of their funding divisions, you see, they've got all these different companies like Alphabet, Google, and all these other subsidiary companies um, f by all their multi-billion funding. One of their companies, a Google Alphabet company, is doing extensive detailed protein research. And they're actually trying to... Uh, um, they're trying to um, basically um, understand everything about proteins, how they're formed, how they work, and even make proteins, change them. That they're doing everything you need to know about proteins. They're working on with like complex 3D imaging, um, biology, chemistry, um, possibly, probably even, um, you know, what Dr. Gail Bradbrook. Um, is in you know molecular physics, uh, molecular biology, and so forth. And there's a the, 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 it, this is connected to the this has a connection to the pandemic uh, because in this program, um, they're 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 work the 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 team. Who, who, who were, and they're based in London, England, this team. Uh, I've seen, you know, I saw the video of them, you know, that they're, they're pretty much, most of them, they're English speaking. There were some Americans in there, obviously. And they were on this breakthrough, this verge or breakthrough, or they might have even made this verge or breakthrough, um, this team working on this protein study. And then mysteriously, just as they made a certain discovery, they got shut down. This is when they called the pandemic and everyone was locked down. Um, you know, there was this lockdown and then everyone got put on furlough, which basically the word furlough means that it, it's it, it's like a special leave or a special medical leave that um, soldiers get. Or, or, or the word furlough comes from army, but it's almost kind of like, like some sort of leave, right? But, you see, I when I was at community service uh, and I, and I got got off for stress with my doctor, I was I was out. I, I left community service and then I was only out of community service for probably a, a month or a few weeks or even a couple of months, and then that's when everyone everyone got locked down. I think it I think it might have just been before Christmas. I think I, I got out before Christmas, and then by the time Christmas was over, then everyone was locked down. Like, what, what was it, January, February, or whatever? Um, everyone was off. So I was off. I was off. Um, I mean, this you, you couldn't time this through history more. Since when has the entire country been locked down, and even the, even the probation service was shut down? For a period, they even closed down the entire probation service. That means all... Um, offenders didn't have to go to probation for a certain time. Now, uh, you know, can you, can you, if you could roll a dice through history, right? You know, through the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, when would that happen if you rolled the dice and went to a bookkeeper's and placed a bet? It's like the almanac from um, Back to the Future. When would the, the entire uh, the entire Crown Prosecution Service, the entire probation service, not only England, the world, be shut down and everybody leaves. Literally, when I was off, the same time, no other time, that time when I got out through medical leave, right? Everyone else did. What are the chances of that on a dice roll? I am the games master. Roll the dice. Yeah, what are the odds on that? Probably, probably same as 40,000 to 1 on that trash can that I found near West Yorkshire Police Police Station in Nyssa. You know, that's what the odds are. Probably 40,000 to 1, you know. So, but also, 
that Google thing as well. What, what was a th there, there, there's a lot. There was a few. There was contribute. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to like say you know dance around the may, maybe a pool. It was all about me. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is there was that, but then there was also that Google um, uh, team as well. And then there's you know Extinction Rebellion are kicking off, but there was certain aggravating factors. But what what I think is you know I got that investigation into illegal road signage and so forth, and um, you know it's quite serious evidence against the whole police force. And then there's other people doing stuff as well, you know Extinction Rebellion, you know onto the environment, and they've got you know evidence against the government on certain things, and then they're all starting to do those protest actions because they had that um Houston Gardens um action when they literally locked down the whole centre of London. Um that was like a really big Extinction Rebellion thing. So I'd only really only just sort of found out about them around that time. But they'd been going for a little while. Um and then there was that Google thing as well. Now the thing is right if you've got if you have uh, made some, you know, uh, significant discoveries about proteins and how they work and how they form, then you would be able to do experiments or you would have knowledge or about how they form and what could even cause them to form, uh, particularly like under certain effects of other chemicals or other um control blind experiments and so forth now this is the thing right i am a person who has a belief or a opinion or understanding that anything that um you know i'm not saying that you know all the people on that team or all the scientists um you know who work on that project for google with the proteins they're all like bad guys or they're all like super villains or you know mandarks or anything like that intentionally like chuckling going <laughs> you know let's go you know like get a disease everywhere but i am under the belief that this sergey brin character from google and you know mark zuckerberg and um you know people like um neil mohan they are what you call you know these, these not controlled opposition but controlled executives controlled people who you know they are um you know i'm all right jack they're doing well they're they're like you know they, they, they're on the top of the world they think they're doing well but only because someone else is allowing them to is permitting them to like Jean-Luc Picard you know the number one they're, they're the number ones you know but yet Starfleet Command is in control but yet you know they're giving the captain ship and they think they're you know in in the helm and they're flying the ship but really it's the military you know the internet the military designed the internet before any of these geeks even you know got a sniff of a, a line of coding you know so that that it's the right man for the job you know if they had you know if mark zuckerberg could think outside of the box and really understand what the fuck's going on um you know he you they won't be able to control him you know and he wouldn't have set up the entire internet to you know um demonetize and you know take off all the little political groups and small charities and then discriminate against them and then he's removing political content when it's meant to be free speech you know he, he, he's the right man for the job because he sides with the um you know the people who were wanting to um be authoritarian you know so i i think that Whatever discoveries are being made by these laboratories, like this Google team, as they're doing it, every single thing they're learning and what they're doing is being recorded and understood by the military or watching them, almost like 77th Brigade. And they're more cleverer than them, more intelligent. And, you know, why we might say, well, you know... Um, why haven't they just got their own laboratories and their own labs and doing their own stuff? Well, they have, and they are doing. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with other people. You know, 
other people are doing stuff as well and making progress. You know, there's there's many different laboratories making progress around the world, but they're all owned by Black Rock Vanguard at the end of the day, you know. So what they're doing is they are pooling all the information and sussing it out. Now, I think that this is my hunch. This is my this is my um, belief. I think that they were one step ahead of them and I think that, you know, teams like that Google team probably been contributing towards it indirectly or unknowingly or possibly even partially knowing what they're doing. But that's a team that might even have been able to, you know, suss out, uh, you know, if something like this was found out, you know, if something like this disease or, or even plant the disease and then, you know, oh, hey, presto, we've got a cure for it. And then we can make loads of money out of the cure because we can charge them for a cure for it, you know, break this protein down. Because now this Google lab have got the got the, got the protein um, knowledge, you know, to, to, to cure it, you know. But it, it, but what Campbell is saying and, and he's um, the guy who, the, you know, the guy who gave the statement, the evidence, um, they're saying that it's the first time it's been seen. It's just appeared. Now, what are the chances of that? This thing's just appeared. It's just like you've never seen it before. Um, it's never been found before. Suddenly starts appearing. Uh, then there's that weird bat leak um, over in China. And then we all get locked down, but under the circumstances that, you know, the government are in deep shit because we've got some serious evidence against them and a lot of people have, and it, it, it's going to come out uh, if they don't do something about it. And then what are the chances, if you were a master strategist and, and you caught, so kind of seen this coming, right? If they uh, I got this knowledge about proteins and, you know, if you mix it with A, B or C or get this reaction, right, then it forms these clots. Then wouldn't it be convenient that oh we've got this virus that comes out and then you know the, the what with the cure that we're going to make for it give it to everyone and then there's a reason a legitimate purported reason why you give it to everyone and then suddenly all the old people are whatever on the, all these certain medicines you know that you know people um, that they know that they're on they're going to take them out and then we know that um david cameron's government you know the they knew all about this, you know, methadone uh, epidemic that everyone was getting all the young kids from the drugs that sent everyone diabetic. It's almost like an, a chemical uh, a, a barrage, you know, like when you get your fireworks, you know, you, you can have a rocket, but, you know, w w what you really, what they really want is the barrage, you know, have a bit of this, have a bit of that, boom, 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 you know, a barrage. This is what they do when they went to China to make them buy the heroin, the opium, didn't they? You know, they got the cannons, I'll give them a barrage, boom, boom, fire the cannons, you know. So we're coming in from all sides, we're in with the method drone, you know, like it's coming in 2012, right? Okay, no, okay, Captain, fire the method drone, fire the method drone. Now it's, you know, we're coming, oh, that's it, that's Phase one, phase one. Now we're coming phase two. Okay, then you know, get the um, release the bat virus or bat bat virus released, Captain. Now, okay, then now we'll get get them in the medic. Now get the protein. Make sure you get the protein um, injected into the old people. Okay, inject the proteins into the old people. This is it. It, it we're, we're being we're being dominated now by these very very sinister people who own everything they control all the labs they've got all the non-profits they don't have to see where the money's coming from for the non-profits then they've got a muppet biden in there oh his memory's going he can't remember anything well you know it, it basically makes the position of president look like a, a, a clown's job, a joke job. And then you've got all the military laughing at him, tripping up over stuff on the stage. If you can't see this, if you can't see this, the big picture of it, there's something wrong with you. And then what they're doing with all the websites, you know, oh, you're all caught up in this now, aren't you? Oh, and eBay, oh, you're all caught up in this now, aren't you? Ooh, 
you know, ooh, ooh, and, you know, it's a tangled but wooden bo- woolen ball now. You're all tangled up in it on our. We're all on the mobile phones. We're listening to everyone talking. We got cameras everywhere. You know, you're all tangled up in it now. Surveillance cameras. Ooh, ooh, you're all caught up in it all. This is it. And then, ooh, accept the cookies. Accept the cookies. You know, fire. Get get the diabetes out. If you can't see what they're doing and it's this all the council it's all strategic planning that's what they're all about these people everything on the now it's on the roads and we can we don't decide over for anything on the council you know it's care balfour beat me it's all planned out oh, you know the highway phase one phase two phase one this is if if these people I've got phase one, two, three, four, and five written on them, like um, uh, you know, a spacker with his tongue on a window with 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 with, with, with saliva dribbling down his chin. Phase one. These are the phase one, phase two, phase three people. You know, it, 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 these are the phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four people. Whether it's roads, council, strategic planning department, right? Now, I I would warn Sunak with his moderna factory, with his moderna world, which we're having whether we like it or not, with his 15-minute cities, right? Sunak needs to be very, very concerned. The chief police officers need to be very concerned. They are pointing the finger at citizens of England. Oh, terror, terror, terror. They invented terror. They invented the fire of London. Did not happen until there was an organised police force. Now I'll tell the police this. I'm asking them. I'm telling them, standing army is illegal, right? A standing army is illegal. And an army is there when there aren't times of peace to protect the country from foreign threats. So what is, since... The 1800s to 1900s, right, which is 1688, over 100, 200 years after, no standing army, why did they create a police force which is effectively a standing army? Yet not to protect us from foreign invasion, it's not twiddling its thumbs either. It's not sat uh, beating itself off on a fucking Sunday on a fucking bistro. It's a standing army that isn't just standing. It's doing something, right? I'm starting to think now that this police force is actually a army and it's not standing. It's not standing. It's actually fighting at war against us and claiming it's protecting us from criminals or crime, keeping the peace, justice of the peace. Beep, 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 beep. Justice of the peace. Excuse me, Your Honour, can you stop that um, construction vehicle? It's annoying the fuck out of me. It's driving me nuts. Uh, I want some peace. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we can't do anything about that. Beep, 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 beep. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. Can't do anything about that. Beep, beep, beep. Justice of the peace. Where's my Sunday afternoon, the day of rest? Beep, beep, beep. 
Sunday, a lazing on a Sunday afternoon. Beep, 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 with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Beep, 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 lazing on a Sunday afternoon. Beep, 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 on the day of rest. Beep, 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 with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Beep, 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 lazing on a Sunday afternoon. Beep, 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 on the day of rest with a justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, Councillor, um, what are you doing? Oh, we're well, my strategic planning department planning this new aeroplane jet engine factory at the side of you. Oh, that one that we objected against. Um, a thousand people signed and you still fucking slam the hammer down and put it through next to McDonald's. Beep, beep, beep. Justice of the peace. 24 hour party people. Hey, look, it's four o'clock in the morning. Wow. There's another Tesco's lobby. Wow. There's another Tesco's lobby. Wow. There's another Tesco's lobby. 4 a.m. Wow. In a little village in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. PC plod, Captain Chief. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep. Oh, oh hey, hey, I'm protecting you from criminals. Oh, you beep, beep. Don't see any criminals around here breaking the peace, officer. Beep, beep, beep. Justice of the peace. Beep, beep, beep. Sunday afternoon. Beep, beep, beep. With the Archbishop of Canterbury. Beep, beep. Day of rest. Beep, beep. Justice of the... Oh, it's Keir Starmer. Hello, Keir. Yeah? It's, it's all right, it's, it's just care traffic coming through at four o'clock in the morning. Beep, beep, it's care traffic. Beep, beep, care traffic coming through. Beep, 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 justice of the peace. Beep, 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 care traffic coming through. Beep, beep, won't get no vote on this. Beep, 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 beep. You know, this is it. Someone's taking the piss out of us, right? Now, I suggest the police start looking for foreign threats of viruses, strategic... Oh, just a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. No, sorry. Yeah, no. No, I don't know where Madeline is. I haven't got a fucking clue. I've, you know, no, I have not got a fucking clue. Can't solve that one. It's, it's beyond my pay level. Okay, if that's fine. Hello, officer. Oh, it's, it's, it's after, I think he's going for a pay rise. It's above my pay grade, this. It's above my pay grade. Well, apparently someone's been reporting it in. It's not above their pay grade, is it? Apparently it's Dr. Campbell's um, uh, undertaker friend. Apparently he's one of the people who actually found these strange new proteins. Oh, look! It's the police forensics officer. Oh! Can I come and see your laboratory? Can I come and see your laboratory? What are you testing in there? Is it a new pill or a new powder? Is it a new, new, new? Look, it's a strange new protein. But no, don't worry, we don't need the police forensics department because Dr. John Campbell's told us all about it. Now. I wonder why the police aren't down at Google Protein Lab in London. Could it be because the government are telling them not to go there because, ooh, ooh, might don't want to get any associations between Google protein research and, you know, Boris Johnson and the Conservatives and Sergey Brin, the master of Google Earth. Oh, look, it's Nick Clegg. 
the ex-Prime Minister, the Deputy of England. Hello, Nick. What are you up to? I'm the Global President. Are you? Are you? That's a strange coincidence, Nick, because I've been trying to get some petition signatures on Facebook, but my um, posts kept disappearing and getting mysteriously deleted. Yes, very strange. You know, this is it. We got a problem. But that's the least of the police chief's problems because they've been pl helping place illegal road signage all around England at speed entrapment sites on purpose with the council. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. What shall we do about it? Well, what shall we do about it? Maybe we should need to get some legal action against them. And, you know, but then who's going to investigate these strange proteins popping up? Well, someone... Well, don't worry, because Dr. Campbell's already onto it. Yes, yes, he's already onto it with his um, undertaker friend. This is it. Don't worry, the public will solve the problem, officer. Don't worry. Now we've got a standing army of a force. Standing army of a force. Yes. Yes, a standing army. You know, it's, we're not even at war. It's just like a spare end. What the, what's the public any use for if they're not making widgets all day? You know, sweet FA Cup, you know. Let's get, get ourselves down to a football match, you know.